Welcome to We Don't Have Cookies with your host, Jason Marshall. Welcome to We Don't Have Cookies. I'm your host, Jason Marshall. This week's going to be a short show. Last week, we had Thanksgiving here in America. If you live in America, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Last week, I also had a dentist appointment, which we talked about on the show. Mama Kate had a conspiracy theory that dentists make candy corn to discourage people from eating candy because candy corn is so disgusting. You'll never want to eat candy again, and it would help their industry by protecting your teeth. I had a conspiracy theory that enamel could be replicated. They just don't want to do it because it would ruin the industry. Well, I got some answers to those questions when I went to the dentist. I like going to the dentist. I have an easier time going to the dentist than I do getting my hair cut. Because I don't really have a place that I get my hair cut at. I just show up somewhere and give it a shot. I'm usually driving around having lunch and then it hits me like, hey, I should get my hair cut today. And I just pop in a place that's close. And I've gotten some really shitty haircuts doing that. And also, I feel like when you get your hair cut, because I go to all these different places, I don't really know the person cutting my hair. And you feel like you have to have a conversation with them, but you don't know what to talk about. And the whole thing's just kind of uncomfortable. But with the dentist... I know all the people there. I've been going there for a long time. I don't have to really talk much. I just show up and we exchange pleasantries at the beginning. But for the most part, they're hands in my mouth and they don't really expect me to say anything. So that part of it's nice. I have thought about going to another dentist before my regular dental appointment. I'd have to find somebody really cheap and get my teeth cleaned the day before my regular dental appointment so they are really impressed at how well I've taken care of my teeth. (laughs) So donate money, I'll do that. Uh, I, I don't know if that's a big selling point. You never know. So anyway, I get to the dentist's office. I sign in, sit down. There's a lady across the office. There's a lady across the waiting room. And for whatever reason, she keeps reading silently to herself out loud. And the whole time, I'm just laughing to myself like I'm some undercover agent. And she's a secret operative trying to (laughs) tell me what my mission is in code. And that's the whole point of my dentist appointment. Uh, (laughs) Which, I don't know. It's the little things in life. It just amused me. Uh, anyway, they finally call me in. I get in the chair. The dental assistant asks if I've been flossing, which I told her that since my last visit there, I flossed this morning, which is way more than the last time they asked. I'm not a big flosser. I don't know. I always want to. After a dentist appointment, I always floss for like the first week to the first month every day, and then it just falls off. (laughs) So... So after the dental assistant does all the cleaning, the dentist walks in and I asked him if I could record him. He didn't mind talking to me, but he didn't want to be recorded. So I asked him about Mama Kate's conspiracy theory and he laughed at me and said it was the most ridiculous thing he's ever heard. And he actually had a huge thing of candy corn that he had stashed away in one of the drawers in the receptionist area. And apparently every so often he'll just stop doing what he's doing and say he has and says he has to go take his medicine and go to the receptionist area and get a handful of candy corn and eat it. I'm not a big fan of candy corn, but to each his own. But moving on, he said Pilgrim Dentist invented popcorn in Pennsylvania. And he said that a dentist invented something called cracklin' which I guess is a candy that was meant to be hard on your teeth, but really good to mess your teeth up. I had no clue about either of those. And I checked the whole thing about uh, Pilgrim Dennis inventing popcorn is not true. (laughs) I, I have no idea what Cracklin is, so I didn't really check that out. I tried to here and there, but I didn't find anything. So I just left it alone. (laughs) I'm not here to dispute what the man's saying. I just, I thought the whole Pilgrim Dennis thing was kind of interesting and I started to look it up because it sounded sort of cool. 
And then I found out that it wasn't true at all. So that sort of squashed that. But that's the only reason I looked it up. Anyway, I asked him about my conspiracy theory of why they haven't come up with a way to restore tooth enamel. Because I see all these commercials for toothpaste that say, once you wear away your enamel, you can't get it back. It's impossible. And I asked him, why haven't you guys done something about this? And he laughed hysterically and said, because it would put us out of business. So they can do it. They just won't. So whoever the president is, I have no idea. It's weeks after the election. They haven't announced it. But whoever the president is, you need to get on that. It's very important. You care about the health of your citizens. You need to make sure enamel is restored. All right, guys, that's enough dentistry talk. I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to play a segment by Eugene Merman where he's talking to the phone company. This is part two of the same conversation. And I'm going to play a quick song. And when we come back, I'm going to play a conversation that I had with Pandy Kaufman a couple of weeks ago. Enjoy. Thank you for holding. This is Kizzy with the Faith, Family, and Freedom campaign. And who am I speaking to? This is Eugene Merman. Okay. Uh, Eugene, did you press 1 to oppose same-sex marriages? Oh, I pressed it. Yes. yes. Okay, that's great to hear. And are you against same-sex marriages? Well, I want to destroy it, yes. Okay, that's great to hear. And Eugene... And like the fist of God, we will smash them. Exactly. And uh, Mr. Merman, our organization is dedicated to people such as yourself who want to stop same-sex marriages and to quit doing business with companies who promote and profit from the homosexual lifestyle. Some companies profit from homosexuality? That's correct. Such By as, selling sex favors? No, with, with what, such as AT&T, what they do. AT&T sells sex favors? No, no. What it is is they own the Hot Network, which is a hardcore pornography channel. What? They also give millions of dollars to the Gay and Lisbon Alliance Group. Who then use it to throw orgies? I'm not sure of what they do with it. Well, either way, and, what can and, I do? Well, Mr. Merman, there is a, a Christian-based telephone company in your area. There right? is? This is great news. Exactly. UAT, Mr. Merman, uh -huh. is the only carrier that is taking an active stand against same-sex marriages and hardcore child pornography. Hardcore ch I think all child pornography is hardcore. I don't think there's not hardcore child pornography. Right. I mean, any child pornography is... It's, it's evil. Right, right. Even if it's just kids kissing, I don't think that's right. I don't care how hardcore child pornography is. It's all wrong. Exactly. And, and AT&T sponsors child pornography? No, no, that's MCI. MCI has hardcore child pornography. Yes, they, they are. They they have a pedophile website for men who love boys. Uh, it's a Montreal-based website. Oh, my God, our Canadian pervert neighbors. Mm -hmm. So MCI basically has a child pornography ring. That's correct. What about the others? What does Verizon do? Okay, Verizon, what they do is they train their employees to accept the gay and lesbian lifestyle. They try to turn their employees gay? No, no. They try. They train their employees to accept it. They train their employees to accept gays? That's correct. And if they do not... Are, they, it, are they mad future exactly. robots? Exactly. And amoral, godless sex? Hello? Yes? God, I mean, basically, God hates AT&T, MCI, and Verizon. Yes. What the rock bottles of her stuff? Bruce Banner! Bruce Jenner! I'll school you in this battle of the baddest Bruce With your He-Man haircut and your Daisy Dukes I hear you're good at running, you're just like the Flash Especially in the 100 meter dish or wife dash My ace in the lab, as it bass and treble So let me break you down on a molecular level You turned one gold medal to a lifetime of green The most overrated athlete anyone's ever seen You need to carry fatherhood across that finish line I kept up with the Kardashians but left some kids behind Run along, you'll thank me, cause I'm getting kinda crazy Trust me, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry I think you're in your element when you're behaving badly Honestly, you're kind of boring when you're happy I'll lap and pass your ass ten different ways It's half line athlete, blast for you like some camera rays The truth is, there's no proof between the bruises You're a drifter being useless, I'm a winner, no excuse huh? Beautiful women all up on my jock I got a home gym, check me on a cereal box, doc You big green freak, don't try to flex If it wasn't for your cousin, you'd never have sex oh. You're so strong when you get mad Too bad you can't go back and protect your 
your mom from your dad. I'll put a javelin through your jolly green biscuits Probably not the type of girl I'm gonna let you smash on You'll get the medal without the decathlon Hulk is Hulk, no identifiers man Me thinks Kate might understand No gender issue, this gender issue Just do being you is enough to do Look, you. I understand that you hate yourself But you don't need to blame yourself You a tiger, stop trying to tame yourself You gotta be big enough to contain yourself And get hit with a little forgiveness Be green and So it's kinda scarred me What you just rage at a Barney theme party? That's probably not something you've seen as a child Not one day did you see your daddy smile Hulk not strong enough to deal with the lie Laying you down easy, that's kitchen time oh. Examine this under your microscope You got no neck, but you still fucking choke After battling me, you're gonna always be pissed So the Hulk will stay forever, neither Bruce will exist Oh yeah, Hulk's back, you Do you have an impression request for Marco Fuji or just want to contact the show? Send an email to jason at we don't have cookies.com. Today I have a very special guest. It's the first time that I haven't had a human being on the show. Yeah. It's uh, Pandy Kaufman. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. Thanks. Thanks. They're going to come pick me up in a little while. I got a few minutes. <laughs> so it's nice to be here. So what have you been up to? Well, I mean, I don't really do much. It's just hanging out, people looking at you all the time. Before I get too far ahead of myself, I just want to tell people, you can hear Pandy on the show. He was on the uh, birthday episode, and he was on the Happy Panda episode. So you can go back and listen to those. I'll have links in the show notes. Mm -hmm. Um, Just wanted to make sure everybody's familiar with you. You're a... You're a panda who goes around doing stand-up comedy, among various other things, like uh, using Facebook, etc. I'm a Facebook user. Yeah. Have your own Facebook page. Just check out Pandy Kaufman on Facebook and hit like. Yeah. I'm on my cover photo. is See, what they do is when I negotiated to come over here, uh, one of the things was I wanted to release, be released regularly. From the zoo. And so I get to do a lot of things. Comedy, podcasts. I just learned how to ride a horse. If you look at my Facebook page, there's a picture of me on a horse. First time. Never done it before. And you're probably the first panda to ever be on horseback. Is that accurate? I mean... Well, I I don't know. But uh, I'd say that's probably a, a fair assessment at this point. You said you're trying to get uh, get regularly released from the zoo to go do, you know. Well, uh, no, I negotiated that shit. That's right. Yeah. Now, what zoo do you call home? Well, that's the thing I can't tell you. I'll tell you that it's nearby, and uh, one of my friends, unfortunately, has made the place kind of famous uh, oh. because he got shot. But then I can't, I don't know. What was your friend's name? Har, uh, ha, ha, Harry, 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 a gorilla, no, right? Not, nope, not nope. a gorilla. <laughs> Harry, not a gorilla. Oh, yeah. So what happened? You know what happened is he just this kid just needed a bath, <laughs> real bad, and all he's trying to do is help out. And they thought he was going to hurt him, and then it didn't turn out too good for Harry. Harry the gorilla, not gorilla. Harry the not gorilla. Didn't work out too good for him. Rest his soul. So what was Harry? What was Harry? Yeah. He was, um... I feel... He was a... I feel like we're doing a who's on first. (laughs) No, no. uh, What was Harry was a... uh, He was a, uh, um... He was, uh, um, a gecko. 
Harry oh. the Gecko. Okay. Yeah. He got shot. Harry the Gecko got shot. That must have been pretty devastating. It wasn't. I heard it. I can imagine a, a bullet would up. a bullet would do a lot of damage to a gecko. Oh yeah, um, yeah, especially one his size. Or am I just being presumptuous? Was it? Did they shoot him with something else? Was it? No, <laughs> maybe it a small a dart. Man, it was a bullet. No, it was Harry the girl, can get gecko. Harry the gecko. Mm-hmm. He didn't. He didn't deserve what he got. Doesn't make sense. This whole world doesn't make sense, Jason. That's why I do comedy. Kind of. <laughs> my career is totally dead right now. But What happened to your career? I you thought know, it was going pretty good. Everybody wants to be doing comedy now, and there's a chicken, then there's a hmm, old guy. You know, everybody, comedy, everybody wants to do it. And so it's just a lot of competition for stage time. Yeah, I can see that. But it looks like you would have an advantage. I mean, uh, you've got a Facebook page. Well, I, and you're a panda. I got a Facebook page and I'm a panda, but you know it's not easy. In that panda. order. In a what? In that order of oh, importance. Yeah. You bet you bet it's in that order. Mm-hmm. You know, but the one yeah, we're a, we're a little bit misunderstood, pandas. You know, they come people come up to us and they're like, Hey, I wanna hug him. He's a panda. You know what they keep forgetting, Jason? What's that? I'm a bear. I'm a bear. <laughs> these claws, these claws could rip you apart like Freddy Krueger. <laughs> that is very true. You do have very Freddy Krueger-like paws. Yeah. I got a manny yesterday. I tell you, other pandas, do you, how many of your listeners are pandas? Oh, I'd, I'd say at least an eighth. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyhow, I would say if you're going to come to this country, you're going to be given some pretty good spoils and you negotiate to get out regularly. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't have to be in jail like her, my friend. Harry the Gecko. Harry the Not Gorilla. But Harry the Not Gorilla. But, but, <laughs> but. You know, and in his wake, he got written in for president. Yeah. Harry I, the Not Gorilla. They wrote her right in there. I've heard a lot of people say that uh, that him and uh, Harambe have gotten some votes, but more yeah. more people are talking about Harry because he's, I the, you know, the more. Well, you know, it's a very, it's funny. It's a, it's a, uh, we're a very polarized society and they were neck and neck last I checked. I don't know what the results are. I don't turn either. Out to be. No one's talking about it. No. It's no kind of eerie. Not even people from back where I live and or came from, hail from uh, Hing Chow City. No one hasn't heard about that. Yeah, it's it's amazing how the media has kept this quiet. Um, yep. And it doesn't seem like people are very interested in no. in the results either. No. Because no, one's, no one on Facebook, Twitter, any social media has, has mentioned the presidential election. It's almost yeah. as if they've forgotten about it. Well, I think the flaw is the holidays are coming up. You know, yep. people are focused on Thanksgiving, how many weeks left till Christmas. And then after that, you know, you got New Year's Eve. Yep. No one no one cares who's going to run the country. Well, I, I mailed in my ballot from back home. Did you? Yeah, and I voted for Tyson Tyson Young is his name. I like that guy. It's pretty, he's cool. Yeah. He's on the, uh, he's going to try to get opium legalized. That's why I like that guy. I missed, my my grandfather, um, he missed these opium dens. He really liked them. Big, long pipes they used to smoke on them. Huge opium fan. Me too. Well, Can't I, get I don't enough. know. I've never had it. I'm not doing it till it's legal. Yeah, I, I haven't either. Then. You've done opium? <laughs> uh, quite a few times. Opioid. It's one of my favorite things to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. It's not as, you know, prevalent as it used to be. Now they're trying to legalize it. So you go into these boutique places and a the guy there is greet you says, what kind of buzz do you want? Mm-hmm. You want a mellow opium? You want jazz? You want to feel jazzy? So you could go and, you know, uh, be productive? What do you want? You want to sit back and watch Netflix? We got this opium for you. Every kind of opium. It's amazing. Edible gummy panda bears you could get. Little gummy panda bears. About this size. Can you? No one can see this. 
How do you feel about gummy bears? Well, they they share the same plight we do, is that they're they're really really great in small amount, and uh, but they'll come back and they'll bite you yeah. if you have too many, like in bulk. <laughs> and that's why they people don't realize I go and have people gawking at me. You can't even take a dump without people saying, "Look at the panda, he's taking a dump." <laughs> Got no privacy, and then. So then they come up and I want to hug him. And that's what I'm keep thinking. You go, oh, you're going to hug a fucking bear. <laughs> I had a college professor who got drunk one night and ate a shitload of gummy bears and got violently ill and told us that if we ever brought anything gummy into the classroom, that he would make us leave. Well, <laughs> that's, um, that's probably... You know, these people who work in the public sector, who knows what they think, you know? Yeah. I don't know. It's hard to get a good teacher these days. It is. Those guys, person, <laughs> people, whatever they are. <clears throat> not an educated panda. I don't know. I'm, not, I'm just trying to get by with street smarts. Okay. <laughs> I, I do. That's, that doesn't go in anywhere. Do you want it to go somewhere? <laughs> I'm just saying. To, I'm trying to figure out where to take it myself. I wasn't going nowhere with it. I just got some street smarts. I want to keep them to myself just in case I have to defend myself. Okay? Okay. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Quick question before we go. Sure. Have you ever been to Little China? You mean like? There's a lot of them. Just <laughs> oh, you mean like in a, in a in a place in a town where they yeah, like New York or L.A. or Chicago. I have not. I've not been over here that much, but maybe I should. The reason I ask is they always seem to be very interesting places to go. Um, a lot of good food, a lot of cheap things to buy. Yeah. My impression is you seem to be sort of native to Dayton these days, yeah, despite well, your dual citizenship. Of, yeah. Have you considered starting a Little China Dayton? Um, I, sure. Not in Dayton, though. Oh, really? I'd go out in the burbs with it. Just saying, I know how to defend myself, but I don't know how to defend myself that good. <laughs> Not to get too regional for all the people around the country or the international listeners, but sure. perhaps maybe a, a New China or a Little China New Carlisle. <laughs> Yeah, New Carlisle sounds about right. Perfect. You know, just keep it nice and small. New Carlisle is more progressive than Carlisle. That Don't is, you think? Yeah, very true. And you know, I would like to start a town myself that would be called Engaged. You know where it would be? Where's that? Right in between Dayton and Marion. Ah, oh yeah! <laughs> All right, come see me sometime, everybody. Is this thing on? Not anymore. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everybody. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thanks for listening. Tell your friends about the show and leave a review. 